Okay, you guys, I am at 136 Rachel Road, and I'm going to say that this little shed in the back is, it's good. Lots of storage space for the equipment for baseball. Um, it's got shelves built in and everything, so this would be great to house all the equipment. The yard is in fantastic shape. This place is gorgeous. It's nice and flat with just a small hill on that side. You have a big maple tree over there, but nothing really close to the house. Looks like all of the sprinklers are working well. Um, trampoline stays with the house. They've left a, looks like smoker grill. And this patio is the whole length of the entire back of the house. Hot tub on the other side, you come out, it's really shaded. The house faces a good, so you have your sunsets are coming this direction. That's the west, north, and then south. Very private. There's barely any windows that you can see. There's one window from one house that you can see into this yard, and it's it, so it's really private. And then, of course, you have a big, huge side yard with a big double gate. There's a big double gate right here and access from the garage out to the back too. So this is really, really nice. And Charlie isn't here yet, so I'm gonna walk around downstairs till he gets here. So when you come in, you have a little eat-in area here. That is, it's pretty good size, Brooke. I mean, we're looking at the tiles here. There's almost a whole two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So 10 feet across this way. And if you did the table long ways, you can imagine. So you could put a huge table here. Family room is gigantic. So it steps down. There's one step. And these people have only lived here two years. And the carpet's not new, but it's not disgusting. And you have a gas fireplace. There's a Marigas tank on the other side of the fireplace that houses that. I'm sure that they take care of it at Marigas. You just have to change your um, ownership to you. Oak cabinets, they could be painted. It says not a brand new house. You're not going to get everything, but nice oak cabinets. And this kitchen is really big. There's a lot of space in between the island and the stove. It looks like one two three about five and a half feet here between the two so you have plenty of walking around room the refrigerator is not new so if you bring your refrigerator put it here this can go in the garage pantry and there's extra i want to show you that extra little spots here they left you paint it looks like they freshly painted the house it's nice and gray beige so it's easy maintenance there so you have a formal dining room as well as an eat-in. And then of course the island had space for stools. So you have a breakfast bar, eat-in, and a formal dining room, formal sitting room up front. And then you access the garage this way. So you have under the stair storage, coat closet, and that's the access also to the under of the house. And you come in here and you have this big laundry room with a double with a big sink it's got a big not a double sorry about that big sink so it's separate from the access to the garage so it is a separate room and then you have a half bath down here and they have stained the cabinet like a ebony color um but still a nice little half bath and then of course three car garage that they have been storing stuff in. So you have above storage here, the water heater's hooked up here. So it's a full tank, two garage door openers. So you have this third bay that comes all the way back here that you could use for anything, the truck, equipment. So if you wanted the equipment in the garage during the winter so you don't have to go out back, that'd be good too. And then of course, the double garage bay this is a big garage. They have a lot of back space behind because you come in so you can see that it goes from the double car all the way back to here and then it goes back another eight feet to the back wall. So there's a lot of space back here. 
Alrighty, that's the downstairs.